Good morning, brethren. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord for this day. The psalmist says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefit. Let's worship God. Let's give him the worship. It has been God on our side, in our families, upon our spouses, our husbands, our wives. It has been God, even our children. Let's bless the name of the Lord. Let's worship him. Let's tell him that, God, we are grateful. There is we, none to be compared with you. We worship your majesty. There is none like you. Blessed be your holy name. Daddy, we thank you, Daddy, for your mercy. It has been by your mercy we have not been consumed. Great is the faithfulness. Daddy, you have been so good. You have been so kind. Who is like unto thee? Among the gods, you are glorious in holiness. You are fearful in praises. You are always and ever doing wonders. Blessed be your holy name. Daddy, we worship you. We magnify your name this morning. Glory, honor, and adoration we give to your holy name. For in Jesus' precious name, we have all given thanks together. Amen. Amen. Let's worship God with this song. As far as the heavens stand, Stand above the head, you are exalted. Only oh, meeting with God. God. Oh, yes, yeah. as far as the earth stand, that is standing above the head, you are exalted. Oh, yes, God. Only me, dear God, you are exalted, you are exalted. Hallelujah, you are exalted. Our Father, you are exalted. Only me, dear God, only me, dear God. Oh, yes, you are exalted. Our Father, you are exalted. Hallelujah, you are exalted. Oh, yes, Lord, only me, dear God. That the power belongs to you. All the power belongs to you. In heaven and on the head. All power belongs to you. All the power belongs to you, God. All the power belongs to you, Lord. In the heaven and on the head, all power belongs to you. Daddy, Nikosabara, so da biti jesu. O masi agbara kokon ta le fi weti baba o sa agbara to da biti jesu agbara agbara to ju gogo agbara lo e ko soruko to da biti jesu ninu gogo oruko oruko jesu lo leke gogo won e ko soruko kokon to da biti jesu oruko 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 to ju gogo oruko lo Kalagbada you know the one who slows his fire. Your voice resound like thunder. We glorify your name. Alagbada you know the one with eyes of fire. Your name is full of wonders. Come and manifest your name. Heavenly Father, Alagbada, you know, the one who slowed his fire. Your voice resound like thunder. We glorify your name. 
Alagbada you know the one with the eyes of fire. Your name is full of wonders. Come and manifest your name. May the Lord has set our hearts of worship and whatever cases we have brought before him this morning, the name of the Lord will be manifested in the name of Jesus. Amen. We are all welcome to the presence of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you hear me? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. All right. It's a beautiful morning, beautiful evening. Anywhere you are joining from, I pray the Lord bless you mightily this morning, this evening, in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah, we have actually come together as uh, couples, as families, to a place where we can draw strength, where we can draw divine strength for the future, strength for our marriage, strength for our home, strength for our families. And as such, I want us to all try and maximize this opportunity so that uh, it will count for us. Uh, the Bible says, you know, usually people say that uh, when there is a man to pray, there is also a God somewhere who is able to answer prayers. So don't uh, waste this opportunity at all. Let's maximize it. I pray the Lord will bless us mightily in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes, minister is in the house. We have uh, a pastor, a leader in the body of Christ, uh, Brabuki Benro. I remember we used to call him Brabuki Benro those days, but I think uh, Brabuki has moved from Brabuki to an apostle now. So we say, yeah. Apostle Buki Benro, you are welcome, sir. <laughs> <laughs> the Lord bless you mightily in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, let me just uh, give us a little brief about uh, uh, a man of God this morning, Brabuki Benro. Book in Burrow uses his tongue and pen to put smiles on people's faces. He's a pragmatic preacher with an apostolic mandate to bring inner healing to the church and society globally. As a disciple of Jesus, he's a great asset to the body of Christ. He's a role model to many Christians, ministers, leaders in words, in faith, in purity, and in love. He has zero tolerance for mediocrity and falsehood. He founded the Jesus Team, the Vineyard Assembly Incorporated, and 12 Institutes of Leadership. He is the CEO of Axiom Books. He is a fellow of Ministry Training Institute, Malaysia, a senior member of Chartered Institute of Public Diplomacy and Management, and alumnus of Daystar Leadership Academy, Academy and Aga Institute. He holds an executive MBA from Metropolitan School of Business and Management in the United Kingdom. Uh, Buki is a uh, maverick who loves playing badminton. Is the husband of Abisola Benro. Thank you so much, Pastor Buki. You are welcome. You have the floor, sir. God bless you, sir. Excellent morning, everybody. Uh, brother Wale, I'm still, I'm still bro Buki. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you the truth, I'm still bro Buki. As a battle of fact, I enjoy being addressed as Buki Benro. That is even. But more, more, I'm, I'm homely. We just booking we roll. All right. Yeah, sir. excellent morning, everybody. So, so good to be here with us. Hello, this morning. I, I believe that the Almighty God is going to bless all of us together. Uh, we have short period to pray over ten things. Ten, ten with a lot of riders. Proverbs chapter thirty, verse eighteen to nineteen. Proverbs. Chapter 30, verse 18 to 19. Proverbs 30, verse 18 to 19. The Bible says, There are three things which are too amazing for me, four which I do not understand. Verse 19. The way of an eagle in the air. The way of a serpent on a rock. The way of a sheep in the midst of the sea. And the way of a man with a maiden. Okay, so there are four ways. There's the way of an eagle in the hair. There is the way of a serpent on a rock. 
There is the way of a sheep in the midst of the sea, and is the way of a man with a woman. Please, let's file that one in one side of our memory and go to Isaiah chapter 40. Isaiah chapter 40, verses 30 and 31. Isaiah chapter 40, verses 30 and 31. The Bible says, Even the youth faint and get weary, and the young men utterly fall, but those who wait for the Lord, those who wait for the Lord will renew their strength. They will mount up with wings like eagle. Now, you will remember we just read the way of an eagle and also the way of a man and a woman. So, this particular animal is brought here speaking about strength. He says, the Lord will renew their strength. They will mount up with wings like eagle. They will run and not be weary. They will walk and not faint. They will walk and not faint. Eagle is one particular animal here that the Bible uh, used to describe the dimension of strength that God wants evil people in marriage to operate. So there is a way of an eagle that can help husband and wife. There is a way of serpent <laughs> that can help husband and wife. There is the way of sheep on a high sea that can help husband and wife. For today, our focus is the way of a nigger that can help a man and a woman. And he said, these things are wonderful. But he said, this own tragedy, the author of the book of Proverbs, is that he does not know he does not know. So there are 10 things about ego that I want us to be able to pray about. If it is possible for you, wherever you are, to write them down, fine. If it's not possible, because I'm, I'm so sure in Nigeria it's early in the morning, and if, if, and if you're outside the country, you're somewhere in North America, I believe that you're just in the middle of the night. Okay, so uh, the, the, if it's not possible for you to write those things down, just follow, and when we begin to pray, just be ready to join hands together with your spouse and to be able to pray. Number one is that, Eagles are very sensitive. Eagles are very sensitive. Eagles can hear the simplest sound even when at 10,000 feet above the sea levels. Eagle can detect <laughs> UV, ultraviolet light in a form of radiation which is not feasible to human eyes. It's an invisible part of the electromagnetic spectrum and identifies color better than human beings. So this has to do with discernment, this has to do with sound, this has to do with the spiritual code, and this has to do with understanding season. This has to do with wind advantage. Five things I've said under the first point. We're going to be praying that in our marriage, God will help to our, to our spouse's need to our to the season in our family okay so remember the shunammite woman the shunammite woman came to her husband and she said i perceive that this is a man of god that the husband didn't perceive it the husband was no sensitive but this woman was sensitive and she said i perceive so we are going to be praying that god will allow our sensitivity to be sharp god will help us to be able to design god will help us to understand sound sound in the realm of the spirit god will help us to be able to understand the season and the period we are in in our marriage for that season. God's season for every couple is different. And we're going to be praying for sensitivity. Number two is vision. Eagle is the only creature of God that can face the sun directly. Eagle's sight is the strongest 
is the strongest. Eagle has a very strong sense. The the eagle, the eagle eyesight is around five times better than human vision. And eagle can see up to three kilometers away if there is a layer at the back of the high ball with cones. Human beings have like 200,000 per square millimeter, but eagles have one million. So this has to do with three things I'm going to be praying for in our marriage. It has to do with vision, it has to do with clarity of purpose, and it has to do with simplicity. Then we're going to be praying that God will help us to have strong vision in our marriage. God will help us that our sense of purpose will be keen in our relationship. Number three has to do with our prayer life. Okay. Or oh, ego. The ego is the only ego that flies into the second heaven. Now, this issue of second heaven. So, the first heaven is the one we can see with our physical eyes, the sky. Uh, if when you travel inside the aircraft and you go like 40,000 feet above sea level, and you will realize that when you look through the window, when you try to look down, you are still seeing like sky, so to speak, and you look up and see seeing like sky, so to speak. All that the highs can see is still first heaven. The third heaven is the throne of God. And the second heaven is where the principalities, the power, you know, uh, 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 pray. Eagle is the holy, you know, animal that can get to the second heaven. And what this means for us to do with us in our prayer is that we need a communion lifestyle that our prayer altar will pierce through the first and the second heaven to the throne of grace, and the angels of God will be able to bring in God's blessings to our home, to our family on the end. That a prayer altar in our home will never be dry, but it will be hot. That a prayer, and you know the funniest thing, it is prayer that will empower vision. A vision, the one I said as number two, will inform form vision will inform prayer if you want to pray a means our vision must be came must be strong number four number four has to do with strength and that is the core area where we've got to pray that's why we're praying strength in our marriage eagle is 8.5 kg in weight but can carry 25 kg animal even to the highest mountain it has to do with capacity and when it comes to strength, we are going to be praying for physical, physical strength. By physical strength, we mean that at the age of 80, 70, husband and wife, our memory will not be dull, will not be weak, will not become liability to our children. And number two, we are going to be praying for emotional strength. Emotional strength is the capacity to withstand the pressure. Emotional capacity is the capacity, is the strength that can help people to go through pre midlife or midlife crisis. There are brothers and sisters, I know too well that midlife crisis is real. And for a lot of people, midlife crisis has choked them. We're going to be praying also for financial strength, and that is critical. And, and then we're going to pray for spiritual strength so that the oil upon our head will never be dry. And we're going to be praying for the strength of manpower that has to do with social keep capital that God surrounds us with relevant people. Number five, ego goes on hibernation for 40 days annually to renew strength. We are going to be praying that our, it's a military strategy, really. It's a military strategy. Moja, it's a military strategy that when you retreat, it's not a sign of cowardness, but it's to build strength. And we are going to pray that God of heaven will help us 
to discern the way to hibernate, even in our marriage. And number six is the anointing. You see, when the ego is on his annual vacation, annual rest, you know, there is a the ego will pluck off the feathers. And then there's a sack of oil under the armpit of ego. And after ego is naked, so to speak, and become vulnerable, ego will break the sack of oil and ego will rub the will rub the oil upon his whole body and when that happens new wings will begin to grow and we begin to grow we begin to grow and it will gain strength i found david my servant the bible says with my holy oil i've anointed it Therefore, the wicked will not be able to act with him. We're going to pray that the anointing, the oil of God, it be fresh in our marriage. You see, it's critical we pray that number six for the anointing of God to be strong in our families because one of the things I've come to realize is that when people get to, when people are having middle life crisis one of the things i've come to realize is that uh, suddenly you will look at your wife and you will just eat her for no reason you will you will not just like her voice you will not like her dress you will not like her appearance and then you will discover that as a woman you just don't like your husband there is nothing he does that is appealing to you but when the anointing of the lord is covering you you will be able to resist the middle life crisis you'll be able to resist the middle life crisis number seven number seven uh is hunger he who uses hunger to train the little ones and you will realize that the Bible in Matthew chapter 5 and verse 6 says, Blessed are those who are hungry and thirsty for righteousness because they will be filled. Mm -hmm. uh, they'll be filled. So there must be strong desire and craving for our children to grow in kingdom values. We must be, there must be that genuine hunger, passion for our children to grow up in God's, in God's kingdom value. Number eight, I realize that egos are monogamy in nature. Ego, egos have strong fidelity. Egos, e a male ego will not build his nest until the male ego has gotten a female ego. So when they start to cut together, they will build their nests. They will build their nests. And once they build their nests, once a male ego and a female ego start to come, they don't look for anyone else. They don't think, no one is appealing anymore. Egos have strong fidelity. It's like the death draws back. In fact, if one of them is dead or the one of them flies and didn't come back. The one that remains in the tent will not even think of another partner for minimum of two years. Eagles have very strong fidelity. Both male and female eagles build their nests together. It has to do with the power of unity, the power of togetherness in our relationship. Number nine, we're going to be praying for grief. Grip. Ego's grip is up to 10 times stronger than that of human beings. It has to do with tenacity. It has to do with focus. And finally, number 10, egos, egos are very, very selective in who they flock with. Egos can, can turn their head 210 degrees and see everything around. They are capable of seeing from very, very variety of angles and seeking out their prey with ease. Eagles flock with eagles, not with cheeky, not with a fortune. And let it not drag us to the level of immaturity. That is what Romans chapter 1, verse 1 to 2, a message translation. He says, I don't want to be, I, I want you to take your everyday, ordinary life and place it before God. And he goes further to say, He said, You're eating, you're drinking. And he was saying all that. And he says, He says, I don't want them, I don't want to be well adjusted to the culture around you. 
without thinking. Let it not drag you to his level of immaturity. Brethren, I want us to begin to pray. Come on, let us pray one minute in the Holy Spirit. in Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Number one, I want us, I want us to pray for the grace to be sensitive. Please hear me. I want us to pray that God will help us to design seasons in our marriage. God will give us wind advantage. Because one thing he knows how to do is he will just spread his wing. And during the wind, when wind is blowing, he will spread the wings and then the wind will carry the ego. I want us to pray, Lord, help us. Help me to be sensitive. Help me to understand season. Help us in our marriage to understand the season where we are. Lord, help us, oh God of heaven. The Bible talks about men of Issachar who have the understanding of time and season. Lord, help us in our marriage and our home to design, to understand time and season that will not gamble with any season. Lord, will not make shipwreck of any season. In the name of the Lord Jesus, God of heaven, help us, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Amen. Jesus' mighty name, we pray. I want us to please Amen. repeat that. I want us to still repeat this period of sensitivity to season. Uh, you know, the Bible says there's a time to plant, there's a time to sow, there's a time to gather, there's a time to scatter. You know, in family, even in family finance, in, in investment, we must be able to discern, to know when to gather and we must know when to let go. Somebody was telling me yesterday about how they went to the market before the crisis of pepper on you and order. There was no crisis, but the wife designed and told the husband and they said, come on, let's buy pepper, tomato, onion, just design. And then they were able to buy a lot. They grinded together and they have several liters of pepper that is already grinded. They just design. So suddenly, those things became scarce and very expensive. So why do are complaining that those things are expensive? They are not complaining in their home. God has helped them to design the season. Somebody was going to buy a car about, about three years ago. That car was too point five million naira but he couldn't discern the season he had the money he felt maybe he's going to sit come down a little bit suddenly the price of things began to go go up the same car today is nine million naira i want you to pray one more time father in heaven help us in this marriage to discern help us to to have the understanding of season to know what to do part time in our home in our marriage in the mighty name of jesus Jesus, oh God, will leverage Lord on the Holy Spirit to know what to do, when to gather, when to scatter, when to sow, when to give out. In the name of the Lord Jesus, thank you, faithful Father. 
In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. And we're going to pray number two and pray for vision. We're going to pray for vision. We're going to pray for clarity. We're going to say, Lord, help us, O oh God, not to lose sight, not to lose sight, not to lose sight of your purpose for this all. There are some of us that when we are cutting, we remember what the Lord told us. There are some of us in our marriage, we know, oh God, Lord, help us, oh God, not to lose our sight, not to lose focus. Let's quickly pray. In the name of Jesus, in Bahushi, the Yemanto, Lord, in the name of Jesus, we pray for clarity of purpose in our home. We pray for clarity of purpose in our homes in the name of Jesus. Help us, King of glory, oh Lord, Lord, that we may have clarity of vision in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, help us, King of glory in the name of jesus in jesus mighty name we prayed amen number three we're going to pray lord that the fire of god will not be quenched on our prayer altar that the fire of god will not be quenched on our prayer altar lord by prayer we will our vision, Lord, in the name of the Lord Jesus, Lord, oh God, we pray, oh Lord, that our knees will not become feeble. In the name of the Lord Jesus, our prayer altar will not be dry. In the name of Jesus, Lord, let the fire on our prayer altar be rekindled in our homes. In the name of Jesus, let the fire of the Holy Spirit, oh God, begin to burn like never before. In our homes, in the name of Jesus, let a fire. Lord God, I will never be weary of praying pray, that our homes will become the house of prayer. Lord, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we will enjoy the partnership of the Holy Spirit in our marriages, in our homes. We will enjoy the partnership of grace in our homes, in the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we prayed. Amen. Number four, we're going to be praying for dimensional strength. And we're going to pray for physical strength. Physical strength. That we, none of us will die young, will grow to the good old age, will not be taken away in the midst of our days. Our memories will not be all at 70, mm -hmm. at 80. Mm -hmm. Our memories will still be sharp. We will not become mm -hmm. liabilities to our children. We will not mm -hmm. be bed ready. That is physical strength. Let's quickly pray. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, we pray that you will keep us strong. We will keep us strong. We will keep us strong. In my hand, no suited. Lord God of heaven, to the good old age, none of us shall be taken away in the midst of our life. Days, the normal one days we shall need to fulfill. We gain physical strength today. We subdue sicknesses, we subdue diseases. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we receive the grace of God. Lord, you will keep us strong. Our hearts, our marrow, in the name of the Lord Jesus, our kidney, the pancreas, we function well to the old age. None of us will experience heart failure. In the name of the Lord Jesus. You see, the psalmist says, Psalm 73 and verse 26, my body may be weak, my strength may fail, but God is the strength of my heart. Today, according to Psalm 73 and verse 26, God, you will be the strength of our heart. In the name of Jesus, our heart will not fail. Nobody, none of us, oh God, will experience heart failure. We subdue this body. In the name of the Lord Jesus, by the strength of covenant, we subdue every power of untimely death in the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Emotional strength. Emotional strength that in the name of Jesus, God will give us the capacity to resist pressure. Capacity to overcome midlife crisis. God will give us emotional strength. Emotional strength. Emotional strength. No, no anger will crush us in the name of Jesus. No situation. No external pressure. No external pressure. 
we crush us in the name of Jesus. I've come to realize the water around the sheep. Uh, that would be for another day. The way of a sheep with in the with a couple. If the water around the sheep doesn't sink the sheep, is the water inside. I want also pray for emotional strength. No, no, no pressure, no crisis. We crush our marriage, not external, not internal. Let's pray in the name of Jesus. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we gain emotional strength, love from the Lord, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Lord, we will not be broken down, we will not be destroyed, in the name of Jesus, we will not be destroyed. Lord, no pressure, no pressure, no external pressure from anywhere. Lord, God, no internal pressure from anywhere. We suffer, we gain strength, we gain emotional strength to resist pressure, to overcome crisis in the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Financial strength. I want us to pray and say, Lord, bless us. Open our eyes of understanding to, to understand finance, to know how to earn the money. Lord, bless us in the name of Jesus. Let's pray for financial strength. We will not lift, we will not lift a reckless life. In the mighty name of Jesus, we will not be wasters in the sight of God. In the name of Jesus, we will be prudent. In the name of Jesus, we will be good stewards of God's resources. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we will not live in debt. We will not live a lifestyle of borrowing. We will not live a lifestyle of begging. I have been young. I am not old. I have never seen the righteous forsaken. Nor his children beg for bread. In our homes, we will not beg. We will not beg. We will always have sufficient. We will always have more than enough. God said, if I'm hungry, I will not tell you. There are cartoons on the hills for me. God said, I won't tell you. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we ask for financial strength, oh God, to always have, to always have more than enough. You are the hell, should I? Lord, command victory, oh God. The Bible says in Psalm 4, verse 4, that you command victory for Jacob. Lord, we pray that you command financial victory in our homes and marriages in the name of Jesus. Thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Let's pray one more strength. Let's pray for the strength of Mount power, social capital. I want us to pray that the Lord will connect us with the relevant people and God will take away from us people that are not relevant. The strength of man power. When Moses got to that level, the Bible says Israel was fighting and Moses raised his hand with his rod and for as long as the hands of Moses were up, the Bible says it would be Israel would be winning the battle. But at the point the Bible says that the hands of Moses became weary. And when the hands of Moses became weary, suddenly he and all surface. They gave me soul to sit, and then the head is on. On the Israel won the battle. On the Israel won the Bible battle. The Bible talks about Jesus Christ in Luke chapter 8 and verse 3. And the Bible talks about certain women who are ministering to Jesus out of their substance. It was said of David, who said, David said, Oh, I'm, 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 I'm thirsty. And so men were ready to run. I would like you to pray for the strength of my power. Lord, surround my hope with relevant people. Lord, as many who are not relevant, take them far away. Come on, let's pray. In the name of Jesus. Brethren, let's pray. Let's pray. We have a few more minutes. Let's pray in the holy name of Jesus. We pray that God will surround us with relevant people. You will connect us to relevant people and as many who are not relevant, Lord, you will take them far away from us. In the mind and name of the Lord Jesus. In the mind and name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, Lord, going to connect us to relevant people in the name of the Lord Jesus. Lord God, I will not be the relevant people. I will not be in company of irrelevant people. The God of heaven, I will do I will do I will do a day in the book of Yuji. In the name of Jesus, I will join I will join a day the Buddha Wayuje in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus.
Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. We want us to quickly pray number five. I want us to pray that God will help us to be able to discern when to retreat and when to fight. I want us to pray that God will help us to understand when to hibernate. When, you know, you know the Bible, in the Old Testament, they don't combine the office of a king and the office of a priest together in the Old Testament. But in the New Testament, God gave us the capacity to combine the two. Priesthood is for closet. Kinship is for public. Whoever knows how to function in kinship, but does not know how to abandon will be consumed by the enemy. Shall we pray in our home that God will help us to be able to understand design where to hibernate? God will help us in the name of Jesus in military strategy. And the Lord God of heaven will help us in the minds and name of Jesus. God of heaven will help us, Lord. We'll be Able to know when to hibernate in the precious name of Jesus. Thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. The basis, the anointing of the Holy Spirit will never be dry in our family. It will always be fresh. Let's quickly pray. I found David, my servant, with my holy oil. I found anointed him. Therefore, the weekend will not be able to act with him. Lord, in the name of Jesus, your oil will never be dry in our family. Your oil will keep us growing. Your, your oil will keep us going. Your oil, the oil will keep us going. The hall we keep on going. The hall we keep on going. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the it's a name of Jesus. He said, How good and pleasant for children to dwell together in unity. He said, It is like a oil that is poured upon the head of Aaron that flows down to the hem of his garment. Dear God has commanded blessing and life forevermore. Lord, let your heart continually flow in our homes, in our families, in our relationships, oh God of heaven, so that there will be life and blessings in our homes forevermore. In Jesus' name. Amen. Number seven, the hunger. Blessed are they that hunger and test our righteousness. Our children will not become children of partition. In the mighty name of Jesus, as the heart pant after the books of waters, so our heart will pant after the Lord, including our children. Come on, let's pray. In the name of Jesus, as the heart pant after the books of waters, loss of our heart will pant after you, Lord. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Lord, create in us, O oh God, genuine desire, genuine test for righteousness, for the way of God in our whole Father. We will not, we will not, we will not allow evil. Create in us passion for righteousness, for holy living, in the mighty and name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Quickly, three more. Number eight, I want us to pray. Eagles are very strong. They, are, they, are, they don't allow immorality. They don't allow, they don't allow third party to separate them. They are so united. They operate in the power of togetherness. Let's pray that myself and my wife will remain one. Nothing will separate us. In the name of Jesus, no strange man anywhere, no strange woman anywhere will create a division in our marriage. We will remain as to will remain together. In the name of Jesus, we will receive the strength of unity. We will receive the strength of togetherness in the name of the Lord Jesus. Genesis chapter 11 said, Behold, they have one language. They have one language, one force. He said, There's nothing they want to achieve that they will not achieve. Lord, in our homes, in our marriages, there will be no crack on our wall. We behave, we will remain united, we will remain as one strong entity in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. The money is greed, the tenacity focus that in the name of one man said, while well, I was busy here and there, the enemy escaped. I want us to pray that we'll be we will have to be tenacious. We'll be tenacious. We'll be deliberate in parenting. We'll be deliberate in, in, in making our 
houses to be who go on there to do. We'll be daily, we'll be intentional. We'll be intentional in making our spouses to be happy. Father, Let's quickly Father. pray in the name of the Lord Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God, we pray for tenacity. Lord, you will help us to be deliberate in parenting. You will help us, oh God, to be deliberate, Lord, in infusing love, genuine love, genuine love, happiness, joy in the life of our spouses. Lord, will not be the reason for the sadness of our spouse. We will not be the reason, Lord God, for, for the sorrow in the life of our spouse. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Father. In Jesus' you, mighty name, we prayed. And finally, we are going to be praying, Lord, for, for association. We will, not, we will not join the company of wrong people. We will not join the company of wrong people in the precious name of the Lord Jesus. We will not join the company of wrong people. We will not pray to the power of the Holy Spirit. We will not pray to the in the grace of God, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Father, build us together. Thank you, faithful Father. Thank you. Let's bring our prayer to a close. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. I stand in the, I stand in the prison Amen. office and I proclaim the blessings of the Lord upon every husband, every Amen. wife. Every Amen. family that shall feel this morning, I pray in the holy name of Jesus that the joy of the Lord will be your strength. You will Amen. live and you will not be weary. You will Amen. walk and you will not faint. Faith, you, you will not faint. God's Amen. wisdom will be released Amen. in your marriage. You, Amen. Your marriage. you will not pray by the wisdom of God. Proverbs Amen. chapter 24 and verse 3. My wisdom in house is built. I pray in the name of Jesus. You will operate in the wisdom of God. You will Amen. see well. You will not operate like an amen. You will not operate like an amen. But you will operate as men of the spirit. You will see well. You will hear well. You will be sensitive. God's grace. We will enjoy the partnership of Holy Spirit in your marriage. God will grant you spiritual strength. The anointing of the Holy Spirit, the power of God, will be heavy dead in your life. Ah, in the name of Jesus, we head into covenant with the Almighty God this morning. God's grace will be heavy dead upon your home. It lies will fall unto you in pleasant places. In the name of the Lord Jesus, lies will fall unto you. Your home is singled out, is distinguished for the blessings of God, for the grace of God, for the offering of divine God. In the name of Jesus, you have divine offering of God. In the name of Jesus, God. God will grant you emotional strength. God will grant you physical strength. You will live longer, live well. No disease will terminate your life. In the name of Jesus, we forbid premature death. In the name of Jesus, we forbid untimely death. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we will receive strength of God. The Bible says, by faith, Sarah, receive strength to conceive. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we gain strength in the presence of Jehovah God. In the name of Jesus, may this blessing of with your hope in the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank Amen. you, faithful Father, for in Amen. Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Uh, quickly before before the the moderator, uh, Egma, thank you so so much. I can really see and feel the way the time constrains you. We are not able to chew properly, so. Uh, I am asking that uh, we are asking you to come back and um, let's properly chew and dwell on, on, on all of this together again. So uh, I'm requesting that um, as soon as your calendar would permit, sir, you, you oblige us again, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I had okay. Okay, so yes, had Hello, good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Okay, please. Uh, I thank God for this prayer session. Eh? This is my first time of joining. Uh, can I please get the recording of the prayers? Because I really want to.
intensify yes, your send, 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 send your details. It will be on Facebook and YouTube. I'm sure it's even been streamed. So send your details there. It will be rich. Uh, Brother, but please take over. Right. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much, Bro Buki. God bless you real good. You are still very fresh like we used to know you. Thank you. Thank you very much. We are grateful. And uh, I hope we have some other sessions with you. And uh, God will continue to renew your strength. God will continue to bless you and bless your family. Bless your marriage abundantly too in Jesus' name. Uh, thank you, everyone, for joining this morning. Um, some models of our program will also be communicated to you. Always follow us on all our, our social media handles so that you know what uh, programs we have next. Program for the children, program for adults, so that you can just uh, know you can be well informed of what we have next. I pray the Lord will bless us abundantly in all our activities today in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, as we go, shall we share the grace together, please? <laughs>